The first script element refers to a JavaScript library. You can just paste that link to see that library. It's a bunch of code that actually adds to the window global object the property Google. Uh, property that holds the reference for an object on which we can invoke the load function. So once this script element um, is completed and that bunch of code is executed, uh, the next uh, script element can execute. And the first thing is calling the load function, passing over these arguments in order to dynamically load the Google Charts uh, package, or let's call it library. And um, over here, calling the set on load callback function on the Google object, passing over a name of a function, we actually specify that we want the draw pie chart function to be invoked when the loading of the Google chart uh, package is completed so that once the loading, the dynamically loading of the Google charts API is completed, the draw pie chart function will be invoked. Here we have a local variable, its name is data, and data is assigned with a reference for an object, the array to data table function returns. The array to data table receives an array of data we want to be um, reflected in the pie chart, and array to data table returns a reference for an object we later pass over to the draw function function that actually draws the pie chart. Over here we have a, another local variable, its name is options, and option is assigned with a JSON object that uh, should configure the pie chart. In this case we just want to have a title, uh, the title corporate sales. As you can see over here we have the title corporate sales. And so now that we have the data and the options variables assigned with uh, the reference for two objects, one, an object that describes the data, another, an object that um, describes the small configuration we want to apply. Here, in this line, um, we actually create a new object. You can imagine that we have a constructor, its name is PyChart, but if you are uh, familiar with uh, JavaScript, then you know that we actually create a new object on which the pie chart function, function is invoked. And as you can see, we pass over to the pie chart function uh, the reference for the DOM object that uh, describes the div element, its ID is sales chart. Um, over here, we can find the div element with, with uh, the ID sales chart uh, with a specific width and uh, height so that over here in this place the chart will be displayed. Once uh, we get chart assigned with the reference for let's say a pie chart object, we invoke the draw function on that object and we pass over uh, two references for two objects. The first is a reference for an object that uh, describes the data the, the second is a reference for an object that configures the pie chart, uh, in this case just uh, specifying the title, but we could have uh, more properties for more configuration. So bottom line, when you execute this code, you get a pie chart uh, with uh, the data you can see over here, and here we have a title, and that's it.